welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know it has been months and months and months and uh, that would be correct. It has been months and months and months and this box here I have had from Maud since, well I had to actually look on the box it says June. I've had it since June and I haven't opened it. Uh, I will, I'll put like a time stamp of when I'm actually going to start opening the box but I did just want to say the reason why I have been AWOL and haven't opened this swap from Maud is, um, as usual, everything's been going extremely badly. In a nutshell, my husband had another heart attack, he's now got kidney failure, and my eldest daughter, <sighs> was well, she was expelled and went to another school, and then now she's, uh, it's just insanity, one thing after another, and I've just been hiding really <laughs> I haven't been doing any crafting I think I did a bit um, probably about June um, I've basically I've got five boxes of things to send to five different people and there are two are definitely done a third one is I think done oh I don't know I've got a lot of things to send out to people and I have been a horrible terrible person and just ignored everything I didn't go on Instagram I haven't been on Instagram TikTok or anything um, and I thought you know what I'm gonna open this and show everyone the beautiful things that Maud has made and sent to me oh that might be her address um, yeah, and it will cheer me up. It is happy mail after all, so I'm opening it. Here we go, and I'm very sorry, Maud. <laughs> I will be messaging you after I film this, so let me just um, take, I think this is her little note, and I'm gonna get this box out of the way in case there's any more addresses showing. I can't really get it in frame, but she's popped my name on the inside of this box and decorated it so pretty. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't done this for a while? There is so much in this box. I've just grabbed a few things that were on the top and then I'll get some more in a minute. There's just loads in there. So look at this sweet wrapping paper. It's got cherries all over it. Oh, and this lovely ribbon. So Maud and I, <laughs> did a Valentine's swap and um, and this is Maud's one it's quite fun opening Valentine's stuff in November <laughs> so Maud was a little bit delayed um, doing her swap which is totally fine and then I have been extremely delayed in opening it oh my god oh my god look how beautiful Oh, it's just so pretty. Do you know what? I'm going to even forget the collections. It's been so long since I've done anything crafty um, that I don't even remember like who made what and things like that. But it's just so pretty. Oh my goodness, what's inside? We have... Oh, it's attached to some shred here. This cute little rosette girl's rule and a donut and lots of um, enamel dots see I <laughs> remembered what they're called how cute oh that one I need to glue it down wants to keep coming off and then we've got this rosette I love this collection oh I don't remember what it's called <laughs> you are gold it says this beautiful tool behind it <clears throat> And then we've got another one with the little roller skate. You're the cutest thing ever. Lovely little gold puffy star, sunglasses, and there's a little bit of layered crepe paper. Yeah, yeah, it is crepe paper. <laughs> and then this one. Ooh, and it says, hey, with some sunglasses and all the... Uh, thread going on for some texture so cute more thank you so I've got a beautiful box of layered embellishments super super cute 
And then let's try this one. What's in here? I like how I can reuse all this tissue paper. Oh my God. No, don't get stuck. There we go. I think I've rescued it. Look at that. How cool is that? And we've got these charms hanging on there. All sorts of different bits. A glittery heart, a little mason jar. What's that one? What's that one? Oh, it's an envelope. And then these hearts she's all put on there. Super, super cute. And look at the front. I'm gonna have to, do I have to open that bow? I think I do. I think I've got to open this bow to get into it. I think she's kind of wound it around this bit. Look. It's a very cool idea, Maud, look. And then it's attached at the back to kind of keep um, the two sections from not doing that. Very clever. So on the front, we've got all sorts going on. There's a chipboard tag, little milkshakey thing. I love that paper of the rosette. A cute flare with the heart. I love those hearts. I honestly can't remember the collections. I can't. <laughs> I just can't remember. And there's all sorts of fun things. I love it. And that's the reverse side. It's a very good use of those sort of cut aparts. And then we've got a acetate you and me. A little teeny tag. Hello love. So cute. Loads of stickers and things on there. And then this one. Hey cutie. So cute and it's all stitched. And then this one. What a cool way of sending a tag flip, it really is. This um, Simple Stories, isn't it, is some of some of the bits she's used. She's like mixed Valentine's collections. Oh, I love these vellum tags with sequins inside and that cute heart. Is it la la la? I don't remember, I don't remember. And then I've got a square one. Yeah, it's a really good way of using these sort of cut aparts and things to turn them into tag flips. And then we've got a car with XOXO, lots of lovely flowers, enamel dots, puffy stickers. Sorry that I'm going to go through this really quickly. There's just so much in this box. This video is going to be like three hours long. <laughs> but I'm savouring it because it's been so long since I've even done any crafty things or immersed myself in anything crafty. Oh, look at that one! Oh, I love that. It's got the um, gold star tool over the top of this sequin shaker. All the heart eyes, it says. And then we've got the back. That is so cool. I really like that. It's a very cool way of sending a tag flip. Well done, Maud. How very clever. Very clever of you. Let's have a look at this one. It feels 3D. Oh! Oh my God, look, 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 look. I've always wanted to make one of these and I've never tried it. So we've got a sequin shaker on the top there and it's full of different heart sequins and it's that gold star tool again. And then maybe she's got a digital kit or something and she's cut them out and stuck them on was it a bit, yeah, foam underneath so it's a bit raised up oh, follow your heart and that's vellum and then she stitched it on and it's vellum that she's uh, cut out and then put onto the cardstock how cool is that I love it oh look there's velcro on the top so this bit must open oh oh <laughs> I've also forgotten the silly noises that I used to make <laughs> So in the top, we have, oh look, she's used like sequins. I think they're sequins. Um, like what we would call in the UK, love hearts. But I think in America, they're called conversation hearts, aren't they? And then we've got uh, lots of 
the scalloped, oh there's another heart, a slightly smaller one, um, the scalloped flowery shapes that always come in so handy. Thank you so much Maud and I know how long these take to make because I had made a bunch in the summer and it felt like a never ending task so I am very 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 thankful for these Maud. Super super cute and super useful. I'm sorry for this um weird lighting going on. This is my coffee table and I have pulled the blinds but it's a bright sunny day. We've had so much rain recently. Oh! And in this drawer, there's loads of rolled flowers. I'm gonna lose them if I pull this tissue. <laughs> Get out, I want to see you beauties. Ah, there we go. So there's all different sizes and shapes and colors. And they're like roses, which was perfect for our Valentine's. Um, I love rolled flowers. These will come in super, super handy. And again, they're very time consuming. And so I am very thankful, Maud, for you making those for me. Why have I waited till now to open this? <laughs> Why? Oh, can we get this one out? Can I get this one out? This is, this is a tight fit. Definitely wasn't gonna fall out in the mail, this one. Oh, there's some more. Oh wow, I'm all set for rolled roses. Let's get this, this shred out. And I can put it with all the beautiful shred that came with the box. Super cute, thank you Maud. So we have more rolled roses. I love this little house. I'm definitely gonna try and make one of these. I have decided as and when. <laughs> In another twin in another 12 months and then oh there's more so I've literally got an entire house filled with rolled roses and those crepe paper scallopy hearty business things for layering so so handy thank you thank you more oh no this one has she done oh I don't know if it was just the paper design it might be the paper design it's that gold flex on that one Thank you, thank you, Maud. What's in this? It looks like a cracker. Let's see if I can salvage this lovely trim on the ends, or has she taped it on or something? I don't think so. I'm gonna try and salvage it without having to cut it. Can I get it off? Ta-da! Okay. What's inside? Oh. Ooh! I think she's made some trim. And she's popped a little pin on it there. We have got some very cute red ribbon I love that with the hearts on it super super useful and look at all of this there's literally masses and masses here and she's made like a ruffle crepe paper trim which again is something that is so so useful and I'm always reaching for things like this or having to make it myself and it is so time consuming because I have made it in the past. So to have, I mean, this is dense. This is really thick. So that <laughs> it's probably a hundred meters. Wow, thank you so much, Maud. I will 100% be using that. Oh, I feel so lucky. So, so lucky. And we have a very odd shaped thing here with this really nice cherry tissue paper. Oh. Well, it's a wand. Oh, look, it's for hanging up. Look, made with love by Maud Louis Parisienne. So she has, it looks like a stick of some sort that she's used, and she has wound this ribbon. Oh, this camera. She's wound that velvet ribbon all the way around. 
and then on the top we've got a heart shape and all sorts of layering going on. Oh, it's got a little bit bent, but nothing that can't be fixed. These cute little glittery bows. So many layers. So, so, so many layers. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a little um, moped, isn't it? That's what it's called. A little moped bike. Oh, and there's one of those underneath. Look, there's so many different things to look at. Beautiful bead, resin piece, and there's a gold puffy heart I can see in there. Those enamel dots or jemmy things at the top. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Maud. I do actually have a bit of a wand collection going on upstairs in my craft room. So I'll have to put it in there. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Let me grab some more from the box. There's so much in there. So we've got some more tissue paper. Ooh. Confetti falling out everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. I really, really, really like you. And it's like a little plastic heart shaped pot with that cute sloth on it, and there's a flower behind there. And she's stitched on that paper. What's inside? Ooh! Loads of those. I don't know. Do they have a name? The tassels with the clasps. Um all ribbons, all different types of ribbons. It's so, so cute. Gold ones, silver ones, some have got net and all different trims. These are beautiful. And that lovely red ribbon trim with the hearts on it again. What else is in here? Oh, look. It is. Pop that down in a minute. She's made a beautiful tassel charm all these beads on a little lobster glass. So cute! This is really interesting texture. It's not wool um, and it's not thread. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. I like that. Thank you, Maud. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. My craft room is an absolute hell hole where I haven't touched it for months. And there's just boxes and crap everywhere. <laughs> and now I've got to go and put all this up there. But I am very, very thankful, and it's beautiful. Look at this box. Look at this box. Beautifully decorated on the top. I heart you. Again, so many layers. She's been um, really resourceful with all the stickers. And she's tucked little puffy stickers everywhere. So cute. So, so cute. Oh, look. I think it's like, oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. How clever. Now, what do we have here? I'm scared. It's a banner. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I'm getting all tangled up. Okie doke. So, I think, hang on. On the, oh no, don't get all tangled. So this is the very end. And then hanging off of the ribbon is this whopper of a tassel. An absolute whopper. Look at this, all these different trims. I love them, I love trim. I hardly have any left. I have to do an AliExpress shop, I think. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do is pull these out of the box one by one. Will it have my name? I think it's got my name on it. So we have a uh, C. <laughs> and again, so many beautiful layers. And I'm guessing it's a mix of collections going on one of those weird squishy kind of embellishments I can't I can't get my words out because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore and then we've got L and that's a sequin shaker behind that L I'll have to put a bit of glue on there to hold that down it's all come off in transit and then we have the A there's a little wax seal on that one with a little gold heart on it and then we have I oh it's got a little bow, <laughs> a glittery bow on it. Oh, oh. Aww, with that cute little dog. I love him. And some of her ruffled crepe paper behind it. Oh, I like that. I like that cherry. And then E with a uh, rose on the bottom, a paper flower. And then another whopping tassel on the other end. <laughs> 
<laughs> which will look so effective. I don't, it's difficult for me to show you. Imagine the tassel, the, the tassel, imagine the banners hanging up and then you've got these tassels hanging down either side. Or I guess I could take them off and use it. But I don't think I'd be able to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Maud. Oh my goodness, this is going everywhere. I need to sort this out. Okay, <laughs> I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do with trying to put that back in that box. I don't know how you managed to get it in there. It is so cool. Oh dear, it just keeps on coming. So what have we got here? Oh, it's a wax seal holding this uh, trim on. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to cut it. Do I have scissors? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut it, unfortunately. Let's cut it right here. God, these are blunt. And then I can get to this washi. It's holding it down. What's inside of here? I love this collection. I love it, I love it. Especially the panda. He's so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me some of these. So I've got the chipboard stickers from the Simple Stories. What's it called? Sweet Talk, that's right, yeah. Sweet Talk collection. Thank you, Maud. That's so generous of you to send that to me. Let me get some more out of the box. 